What's good, A1 gang? Hey, I told y'all I was going to be bringing some new content to the channel. Now, what this one is, is an entrepreneurship challenge. I want to challenge myself to making $10,000 in this first month of starting a new business. Now, for the business choice, I decided to go with landscaping because it's something I'm familiar with. I already know like the formula uh, behind it a little bit to getting customers. So I'm going to document my journey doing that, basically vlogging it or do just documenting it. And I'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step process. So everything from the beginning to the end. And I'm going to let you all know if we can do $10,000 in 30 days. Be looking out for the next video. Make sure you all hit like on this to let me know if you all are interested in seeing this. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure this is something. I told y'all I wanted to start getting into some entrepreneurship things too, man. Not just the music. So hit the like button on this. Let me know if y'all interested in seeing this. And I got something coming for y'all, man. A1 gang, we out. What's good, y'all? So we just posted our ad yesterday. And today someone just called me to come out and give them a quote for some weeding and like some tree trimming. Something basic, but it might be worth almost half of a thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more. So we on our way there. I'm gonna check in with y'all once we get there. Okay, so the majority of the weeding here will be getting just pulled up. You can see this bed area right here. So a lot of this just needs to come up. The, the overgrown things, the dead uh, plants back there. You see in here a little bit, uh, a lot of things dead. Just get that up. You see this walkway, cleaning up this walkway here, getting some of these weeds out. Uh, this tree here, trimming this up a little bit. You see there's a couple dead branches that just needs to be pruned a little bit. Uh, got a bed here. You could barely tell it's an actual, uh, they can have it mulched, but it, it should be remulched. So that's possible. Uh, possibly something we can do for them. Also up in here behind this retaining wall, there's a lot of weeding that should be uh, done throughout here. These purple flowers here will pull all these out. Let's see what else. Uh, and pretty much this walkway here is about from about here, from about here back to the to the fence there. It's about about 40 feet. And then cleaning up in between these plants here just some of the uh, overgrown vegetation taking that out and that should be it for this one. Oh, and also here along the fence line so you can see a couple weeds through here just taking out all this this right here these are all weeds so those would be pulled also along the fence line that shouldn't take more than maybe an hour or two there but also here along this fence line maybe another hour you can see this fence line here right up against there clean out in between this pallet probably just toss the pallet out if he doesn't want to keep it uh some overgrowth in here you can see these planters and then just up against the stairs here, around the stairs. And then this walkway here, get this together. And that should be that. There's a few weeds up here up against the fan. But for the most part, that looks like everything. So we'll get the quote together and I'll be right back. Okay, as y'all can see here, we got the ad up just posted yesterday. I'm recording this from my phone, so y'all gotta excuse me. But nothing major, just an ad with a couple demo pictures just to show them what could be done. And then just a little bit about the company. So basically, uh... Wisconsin Lawn Masters is a full-service professional landscaping, lawn care, and snow removal company with over 10 years' experience. We can make recommendations and answer all of your questions. Don't spend more when you don't have to. We offer great work for great prices. We design, install, and maintain landscapes for commercial and residential properties, whether it's now or later. Keep us in mind for all your landscape needs. We specialize in landscape revitalization and maintenance. We carry full insurance coverage and then the website. 
But yeah, man, this is so, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it, it ain't too hard to do. We just, we got, we threw the ad up. You know what I'm saying? Somebody already hit us. Potentially we got, uh, maybe five, a 500 to $600 job at, at the least. And that's, that's without me doing any upselling. So now I could upsell this customer that I just went to did the quote for. And potentially add on another five hundred to a thousand dollars to that job. What's good, A One Gang? So today is day three of the ten k thirty day challenge, man. We just got a couple more quotes to go do. I got uh, one for a potential around like three hundred. Another one I don't know yet, and another one I'm not sure either. So. I'm going to be checking back in with y'all, letting y'all know how that one go. The one that we did yesterday, he told me he wants to move forward with it. So, I'm going to let y'all know uh, once we get the money for that. And I'm going to just keep y'all updated. Okay, y'all. We just got to Alex's property. He's looking for... Pre I got to get used to looking at the camera right here. But he's looking for pressure washing. So, once uh, I step out, I'm going to turn the camera back on and show y'all the house. This is the house right here. So he want this pressure wash. This should be about three to four hundred dollars. I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna let y'all know. Okay, we are out here. This is the house here. So what we'll be doing is pressure washing the entire outside. As you can see, uh, second part, second story part as well. Underneath, as well as the face of the house, the bricks. Also, let me show y'all. So if you can tell right up in this part is, is where it's pretty much the dirtiest. We'll clean that real good. The bricks, everything, get that done real good. Cleaning up areas along the bottom here. Also in the crevices real good along the gutters. As well as the second floor part is up there. Just got to go around to the other side of the house. This should be maybe about one or two hours for that side. An hour for this side maybe. Route nine. And then maybe... And this side is pretty, it's pretty flat. So maybe approximately another hour for this side here. But if you see it's most dirty, it's right up in between the crevices. So we'll get this all clean real good. The pavement area here. So pretty much the entire outside. So this one should take about maybe, maybe four to five hours. So two hours that side, three, four, five, six, maybe four to six hours approximately. So this should be about around like maybe a, maybe a four, $400 job. I'm gonna let y'all see the quote once I'm finished with it. Once I send it over to the customer, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, we here at another property. Y'all can see the house behind me. So what we'll be doing here at this property is, as you can see, these flower beds here. We'll be weeding out these, removing all the weeds, branches. And, and a light rake through here to pretty much get everything off the top like the uh the vegetation and the, the dead twigs and things like that clean that up get this looking nice uh, also these beds here right around these trees we'll clean those up right here we'll be doing the same thing with these beds getting these all weeded 
cleaning out in between here, getting the debris out. Also, with this bed, it, since it's one of the ones that's to be, since this is one of the beds to be focused on, we could possibly remulch this. As you can see, the mulch here is pretty old, it looks like. Also, around here, around the edging of this bed, we would recreate an edge and add edging to it, similar to what's already laid on this side, the plastic edging. So that would be about 130 feet of that. Uh, here, right in this area, we got a, a bare patch on the lawn, if you can see it. So what we can do is we, weed this area, reseed this. Okay, so move on, on to the front of the house. So starting here in the front left of the house, what we would be doing is recreating the uh, bed edge here. Also weeding and just generally cleaning up the area. We could also remote this as you see the mulch here. It's pretty old, bare in some spots. So all through here, we'll be weeding, adding edging, and new moat. So here at this part, we would just clean up in between the rocks. Hey, doggy. So we would clean up in between the rocks, weed that area, get that looking uh, pretty good, remove some of the dead plants, things that shouldn't be in there, get those things out. Let me go back. So this is the area I'm saying, remove some of the dead things, possibly get some new plants put in these planters, uh, clean up the pavement, the paver stone here, the weeds growing in between the cracks, all that. Cleaning up this area right here. So weeding, possibly adding mulch to this section here. So from here, right at this area, to about here remulching that also the same thing on the one that's uh, right here getting that area mulched okay then moving on this way so weeding this area also cleaning up and be here you see we got some small little clovers uh, just tidying up the area in general here, same thing as well, removing some of the dead uh, branches from the bushes. We could also remote this area. It's bare in some spots, as you can see here. You can see the weed barrier fabric coming through. So, possibly remoting this, cleaning up the area here, weeding, also adding mulch. Uh, with this tree here trimming a couple of the low hanging branches from the tree just to get that looking a little better so mulching this area cleaning up all through here getting everything looking nice and neat and then on this side so from here we could also clean everything up get it weeded uh rake rake everything out of this bed that are there doesn't look like there's wood chips here so we can rake this out get this all cleaned up weeded get a little trash out of there clean in between and that looks like that for that one so uh, here just a basic cleanup so weeding So pretty much just weeding up here. Unless you would like to add new mulch, but it's not necessary. So we would weed this area, pretty much just get it uh, tidied up a little bit. Some of the fallen branches, pick those up. As you can see underneath the tree there. Here at this bed, we would, so weed this, get everything cleaned up here remotes this this bed has edging already 
the bed, the second bed is missing some. So all this area would get really cleaned up. As you can see, there's, there's heavy weeding here. And that looks like about everything so far. So we got here, 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 there, there, and right in front up against the house. Just make sure. But yeah, guys, this should be for a few thousand at least. So I'm gonna get her a quote for this and I'll let y'all know how everything's looking after this. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, we just got to the third property for today. So I'm gonna give him a quote. I'm gonna show y'all the house, a little bit of what we gotta do. Hold on, let me see. So if you y'all can see this, he just looking for some general landscaping. So he's looking for some general landscaping ideas. So I'm gonna step out real quick and show y'all. Okay, y'all, here's the property right here behind me. So first thing I see, they said they would just wanna do something to generally improve the appearance of the house. So here, what we can do is clean these beds up around the house, add new mulch to them. Also the beds here, weed these, clean it up, add new mulch. Selectively trim or pr prune some of the branches from the tree. Uh, possibly add some color up in here add some color in this area here or some perennials or some other type of plant that will fit good here clean this up here as you can see all along the house so weeding this area adding new mulch new mulch up here in the front possibly some color maybe some planters uh, let's see what we got around the house we could possibly do a natural edging on this if uh if you would like that or add some actual edging right over here we can create a more natural edge around this and also so we can create a more a more natural edge around this bush here add some mulch in there so this area here we can clean this up get this weeded create a new edge around here Make this a bed, add mulch in there. Just get that uh, looking good. Just thin out some of the branches in between this bush here. I'm not sure if he wants to do anything with this area here, but we could go in and just clean up some of the overgrown vegetation, some of the things that are dead not really growing anymore so that's uh one possibility and also some weeding down in there if uh he would want that here along the house along the house here all the way across there's like uh it's just pretty much dead nothing's growing in right there so what we could do there is create an edging add either some rock or mulch there for this area create a nice uh curve or design going around the house also with this bed here we can do the same thing similar to what's done right here with this shed by creating the edge and just adding in the rocks or uh here we can clean it up remote this site so same thing for right here just basically weeding cleaning this all up see around the house so same thing here everything's pretty much dead so we can take this out and create a natural edge for either or the side of there same thing around here pretty much we can do that around the entire house so I'll get a price for that for both either mulch or for both either mulch or gravel So that looks like uh, 
basically everything for this one. This one might only be a few hundred, maybe a uh, thousand. So what I'll do is take some measurements now and see what exactly what we'll need. Okay, we just got to this property. This one should be simple. So what we'll be doing here, trimming up these front hedges, something nice and simple, as well as uh, getting this walkway here. Just looking better, cleaning it up, possibly adding more paver stones to it and a little more gravel just to the curb here just to make everything look nice and uh, even. And I believe that's about it for this one. And I think there's a branch in the backyard that needs to be removed, but that's not nothing too major. Okay, so here in this bed, everything weeded, pulled, all life vegetation removed from this bed so that way a future deck can be placed here removing this bush here also this one right here cleaning up everything back to the fan this entire area then over here cleaning out this bed weeding removing some of the overgrown vegetation Just taking that out some branches down in here Removing those. Then here we got this big branch down. So this branch here needs to come down. Also this branch here going across slightly over the garage those two also a couple off to the side here cleaning up this area here in this bed so starting from this bed all the way around removing the weeds some of the overgrown vegetation just clearing all that out and that's pretty much it for back here. So I'll get back with y'all in one minute. Okay, y'all. So I got an update for y'all. The first job that we did, the quote for, the one I showed y'all from Calvin, he just called me and he tried to lowball me. So the job total came out to about 660. And then I gave him a 10% discount with put which put it around $610, I remember, was his final price. So he just called me back and told me the most he would be willing to do was $550. And now another thing is with my clients, I tell them we need a 50% deposit in order to begin the job and then another 50% or the remaining 50% after the job is finished. So he told me he would be only willing to put 30% down as an initial deposit. Now, I think he might be worried about me finessing him or he might be worried about me running off with the money or something like that. But I guaranteed him that we would get the job done. But he still told me he would only do 30% in 550. So because of that, I told him we couldn't accept the job. Now, I feel this is a good thing. You know, it was a little demotivating at first. Like, you know, okay, first almost had the first job. You know, that was the first ad I posted, first email, first quote first job they would have just you know kept my luck going but at the same time i feel it was a good thing to turn him down to be able to set my standard for the season so i'm not accepting people lowballing if somebody ain't trying to give you the price that you feel you're worth tell them no even though it was only 60 dollars less than what i told him the price would be it's still not what i told him the price would be you know so keep that in mind we just left another quote uh the one that I just showed y'all before this from Zoe or Zoe, that quote might be around, well, she wants three separate things done. So total that quote might come out to around a thousand or a little bit more just from the notes that I took. It, it possibly could be more depending on what she actually wants done, but I'm going to check back in with y'all on the next update.
A side note, I think one of the reasons why he was feeling as if we might have not finished the job or something was because I told him to make the check out to me in my name instead of the company name. So we got to get this business bank account. We going to be documenting the process of that, you know, showing y'all what it takes to do that too. Because I think the customers will just feel a little bit better if they, you know, giving you a thousand dollars or close to it if they were actually writing out the check into the business name. So I'm going to document that, show y'all the process of that, let y'all know everything. Y'all need to do that. Check back in with y'all. Okay, y'all, we back. I got another update for y'all. Y'all remember the last update I told y'all, one of the customers. I felt personally he didn't go through with like a $600 job because he felt we might have not finished the job. And he felt that way because I told him to make the check out to me personally and not the business name. Guess what, though, y'all? We got the business account open, man. It's over, man. You know what I'm saying? We got we got the official Chase business account. So now we can tell the customers to make all checks payable to the business. So that's another uh, tip for y'all. If y'all want to get into this, get a business account with the business name. Because once you tell a customer that they have to pay you with a check in your name, they may feel some type of way about that, especially if you present yourself to have a legitimate business. So I'm going to get y'all on the next update, man. A1 Gang, we out. What's good, A1 Gang? I know it's late, but I got some super good news for y'all, man. We just got two customers that confirmed they want to move forward with a quotes that I gave them. So I'm going to flip the camera over in a second and show y'all but right now, I'm gonna just tell y'all about a little. I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about one of them. One quote is for one quote is for seven hundred and twenty-five dollars, and the customer is adding. I gotta. I'm still getting used to looking at the camera over here. But one customer, he's even adding more to his order, so that's gonna be higher than seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. I sent him the quote. I went out. I did the quote for him. I sent it to him. I told him it'd be seven twenty-five. He wanted to add more flowers bushes and that that type of thing so i'm gonna flip it over show y'all that in a second and then i also got another one of my clients who responded to a quote that i just sent her out tonight for one thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars and she told me she wants to move forward with that as soon as possible and she also wants to add more work to it so i'm gonna show y'all that right now okay y'all here's the first quote we got i don't want to go up too high because i don't want to show his uh none of his personal information but if y'all can see right there at the bottom of this quote, right here where it says total, the total was $806. And then I told him, <clears throat> if you book this with us by 5-20-2019, he'll receive a 10% discount, which is $725. Now, today reached, today is day five of the uh, challenge, and he's past this right now. It's the 21st, so he won't get this discount. So the price will be around $800, and he's also saying he wants to add some more to it. So I'm gonna show y'all that right now. Okay, so I'm trying to, I'm zoomed in right now cause I'm trying not to show too much, but this is just a little bit of y'all can make this out of what it says. Hi Orlando, we can do something simple like planning hostas uniformly around, boom, boom, boom. So that's just a little bit about that message. So once I sent them the quote, he asked me what ideas, hold on, let me try to go up a little bit. No, actually I'm not gonna be able to go up without showing it, but once I sent him the quote for 725, he wrote back and said, what ideas do you have for plants slash flowers around the home by the garage to the back? Thanks. And then that's when I sent him this message here, letting him know what type of plants and flowers we could do. Then I'm going to show y'all where he says he wants to move forward with it. So here in this message, he's saying, yes, we would want to add some plants, flowers in the mix, something that is low maintenance and comes back. We like blah, blah, blah. And we're open to your suggestions too. I want a clean, sharp look. I like the pavers as well to keep the grass separated. I know the price will be much higher with brick edging. I added some pictures of what we are looking for. I didn't see in your video the birch tree bed east of the driveway. Now, what he meant by that it was just one picture of a uh, of a tree that needed a, a, a flower. My bad. My phone just cut off on me, y'all. But like I was saying, he just said... He didn't see a picture of a tree that was off of his driveway, but I got the picture to that. I'm going to add that in there. But as y'all can see, he wants to add more brick edging to it. And he's letting me know that he knows the price will be a lot more expensive. So already he agreed to $725. So with the brick edging, that might add another $15 to $2,000 to the, to the final price. 
So this could be a potentially $2,500 job right here. So I'm going to show you all this next quote for $1,865. Hold on. Okay, here is one where the customer, I don't want to show all their information, but she just was saying she has a fairly large yard in the town of Waukesha. It has been rather neglected, and now we are considering selling our home. So uh, I'm going to open it up and show you all where I sent her the uh, quote. Okay, y'all, I don't want to show too much of this, but this is the quote that I sent her. I don't want to get her personal information in there. But look at the price of this. 920 plus 760 plus 80. Tax 105 for a total of 1865 Now, on this customer, I didn't even provide her with a discount, and she still agreed to it. So I'm going to show y'all the message with her saying she agreed to the price and want to move forward with it ASAP. So as y'all can see here, I don't want to get too much, but it just says, i like to move forward with this as soon as possible. Please let me know when you can start the work. Also, if I can get a few bushes or shrubs on site, I'd like to know if planting those could be added to the plan. Thank you. So already at 1,000, it's the same email. Let me try to show y'all the, it's the same email right there with the, uh, with the $1,865 quote. And she's saying she want to move forward with it. So already we on day five. Hold on. So it's day five and we almost on $2,000 if we just round it up and make it even. Now I'm going to show y'all tomorrow morning I'm going to be meeting with her to go pick up the check. So the way I do this is a 50% deposit up front before the job is started. And then the remaining 50% after the job is completed. So I'm going to show you all the process going there, picking up the check. I'm going to show you all the check, going, cashing the check, making sure it's all good. And I'm going to just keep you all updated along the way, man. A1 gang, we out. What's good, A1 gang? It is day six of the 10K and 30 day challenge. I told you all last night that I was going to update you all this morning with the customer. She wanted me to uh, come out and pick up the check today. So that job was for around eighteen hundred dollars just a little bit over that but she want to add a few things to it so it's going to come out to over nineteen hundred right now I'm, I'm gonna be on my way there to pick up the check i'm gonna check back in with y'all once we get the check i might even show y'all i don't know i might even record me getting the check i don't know but so far we on day six almost at nineteen hundred i'm gonna show y'all the check we going to the bank deposit the check the whole night man i'm gonna update y'all on the next one a1 gang Okay, this is just a little side note to show y'all. She asked me, uh, well, she said she'd like to move forward with it, and then she, she asked when would I be able to start the work, and then she said she wanted to add a few bushes. So I told her the weather looks fine. Tomorrow we can begin this project 5-23-2019 if you get me the initial deposit of 9 50 today before 12 p.m. so that it allows time for planning and material acquisition. We could add... We could also add planting for 10 to $15 per bush last shrub, depending on the size. Please make check payable to the business. Thank you for choosing Wisconsin Lawn Masters. So basically, I told her to have a 50% deposit of the total. So if y'all can see here, this is the 932. When we get there, this is what the check should be for. 932.50. So that'll be 50%. And then she also wants to add some uh, bushes, and I'm assuming it would be around like five to six bushes. So that might be another fifty to sixty dollars on top of it for at the end on the second uh, on the other half of the check. So I'm gonna uh, update y'all when we get there. Oh, my bad too. Look at the bottom right here. So she says, "Sounds good. I will have a check for you. Can you come by this morning? I'll also grab a few bushes and get them." in the right spots thanks so that's this message i'm gonna update y'all once we get there
Racine Avenue. I'm about to pull up to this landscape, man. I'm about to show y'all once we get here, man. We getting off at this next exit. I'm going to check in with y'all once we pull up. Y'all see we out here in the, in the country. start looking like this is gonna be some money right there we about to pull up here oh, okay she already in the van okay so here's the house so i'll check in with y'all in one second okay so we just got to the property uh i believe she just went in the house to go grab the check real quick so i'm gonna uh try to keep this recording while i go talk to her real quick I'll be checking in. With, well, actually, I'm gonna just try to keep it recorded, man, so y'all can hear. It. Hold on. Good morning. How are you? Okay, y'all. Okay, so we got the check. Like I told y'all, it's 9:32:50. I had a video of this portion recorded, but I had to cut it out because I noticed I had too much of the cut of the customer's personal information inside the video. So I just took this picture right here and now I'm just narrating over it as I'm editing it. Here's the house, we leaving now. My phone cut off on me on the other video. That's why I couldn't keep. Okay, y'all, it's day six. We just secured the 50% deposit on an $1,865 job. She also said she wanted to add it, to add those plants and shrubs I told y'all about. So. That's another uh, 50 to 60 bucks. So in total, this job will be well over $1,900. So we can just say we had about $2,000 for the first six days. We still got about three weeks left to this challenge. I'm going to update y'all on some of the process of the job. Right now, we're going to go deposit this check into the bank account. Just so, you know what I'm saying, we make sure everything good. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be updating y'all once we're picking up some supplies, equipment, uh, and just things like that. A1 gang, we out. Okay, y'all, we just left the bank. As y'all can see, we got the check deposit here. The receipt from the bank for $932.50. I just scratched out the transaction number and the account number. Can't have that in there, but y'all can see today's date, 5-22-2019. Y'all got to excuse the bumpiness. I ain't driving right now. Okay, there we go. My bad, y'all. But yeah, $932.50. Deposited today, 5 2019 Day six of the 10K and 30 day challenge. I'm going to update y'all once we get to the property. So actually, I'm going to update y'all tomorrow once we take the money out. And then once we go pick up some uh, supplies and some of the materials, I'm going to document some of that. And then I'm going to let y'all know once we get on the job site. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of completing the job. And then I'm going to show y'all once we pick up the last check for the remaining 50%. So we at day six, almost... We just, total this job will be over nineteen hundred, so just about two thousand dollars. We got three weeks left. We got to get another eight thousand dollars, man. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. A one game, we out.